Hey, this episode is brought to you by youundies.com. No, me undies. <laughs> oh, no, sorry, this episode is brought to you by herundies.com. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, I'm just joking. Let's start over. This episode is brought to you by himundies.com. <laughs> really? You have to nail it. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's brought to you by me, Undies.com. All right. Well, let's edit the podcast so it starts right there. <laughs> no, it's such low energy and weird. I know. It's gonna. <laughs> it's gonna start with. <laughs> I'm actually in like a sour mood now. Yeah, <laughs> that works because I was in one. That's why I was so rude to you. Uh, That's the fun it, thing about being in a sour mood, you can <laughs> spread it, <laughs> and it's good because it's contagious in a bad way. Uh, MeUndies.com. Highly recommend going to their website once again. Very attract. I mean, look at the- just come over here and look at this computer. This, 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 this. Oh, wow. Th- these guys and these babes are just looking legit. His triceps are freaking as big as mine. They also seem to have a, a, a web series called Threesome. And look at that. Look at that underwear. That's they have just w- a woman's crotch, and they, I like that. They have women's briefs. Uh, the April design of the month is umbrellas, which is cute. It's friendly. It's fun. Why don't you upgrade your fucking underwear for Already. the love of God? Why haven't they sent us free April underwear yet? That's a good question. We should ask for more free shit. I feel like we haven't taken advantage of them quite yeah. All yeah. we get from them is freaking money. Yeah. And <laughs> what are we supposed to spend that on? Underwear? I guess that makes sense. Sure. Uh, if you're still rocking like shitty cotton, what, like, what, what were you wearing three, four, five years ago? What was, uh, well, I don't want to throw them under the bus in yeah. case they advertise with us sure. by Hanes. Yeah. <laughs> Those are just like... Hanes boxer briefs. Yeah. They're, they're, they're cotton and they're kind of crunchy. The waistband gets spread at, uh, stretched. It gets like wavy. It starts getting yeah. loose. I never hated them before. I lo- I thought they were great. I thought they were primo underwear. But like after me undies, I you really can't go back. So They're why so don't you t- test one out? Taste it. Just try it on for yourself. And it's also Taste a great it. gift. Yeah, you can you can kiss the underwear. I swear. All right. I'll smell it so close that it hits my lips, and I'm kissing underwear. You ate a pair last. Night. <laughs> I ate a pair. <laughs> And not a, the fruit that you're thinking of. Uh, so if you have someone in your life that needs a gift coming up, this is a good gift. Comfortable underwear. You'll know they'll, you know they'll use it. Agreed. It also comes in a cool package. So it's not like you're giving them a, a plastic bag of Hanes. Yeah. It like comes in a cool box that's uh, tastefully designed. Uh, or if you want to just get a gift for yourself, go to meundies.com slash Amir or meundies.com slash Jake for 20% off your first order. They ship for free to the U.S. and Canada. Boom. This is stuff for guys. It's stuff for girls. It ships to the U.S. It ships to Canada for free. It also ships to the U.K. and Australia if you pay a little more. If you're willing to to, to pay for the shipping, I would say go for it. Yeah. Try it out. The designs are awesome. It feels comfortable. They also have shirts and hoodies and whatever. You can buy some more stuff since you're already getting 20% off. And free shipping. So the price you see on the website is actually l- more than what will end up being charged to your card. Very cool. So let's say you want to buy five pairs. That's a, what, uh, 90 bucks, 100 bucks. Then you're getting $20 off, and then you're not paying for shipping. Try it. Do it. Thank you. I demand it. <laughs> I'm now, assholes. Uh, all right, let's get started. Fun episode. And we ended up giving advice, uh, riffing. What else did we, we talk We were riffing <laughs> towards the middle. <laughs> We riffed. We riffed. We miffed, and you won't be. Uh, I have to go. <laughs> Things got real. Enjoy. I love the podcast. If I were you, I wanna listen every day to these two Jews. It means so much to me. When they tell me to go out and seize the cheese I really love the podcast Toda Yeah I like that That was a laugh riot It really was Yeah, I guess so You're making me uncomfortable What is that? You've listened to that song 19 times today it's a catchy little ditty. Yeah, you have You shit yourself. I want to. Two times. I wanted to do that. You it. took a morning deuce and an evening deuce, and you didn't change. I called it a quattro. <laughs> I went do for deuce. Uh, that person asked to be uh, anonymous. You know what's interesting? Like, I was going to predict yeah. that I think he... That it sounded like that was the first time he ever made a song, and oh. I don't mean that as an insult because I think he's got a lot of talent. I think like it was almost like 
oh, I'm just going to try my hand at this to see how it goes. And he, like, killed it. Like, he's yeah. the kind of guy that's just good at everything, maybe. Uh, but he's a little uncertain. Yeah, he's a I perfectionist. Say, hey, dude, you got a lot of potential. You should start singing. That's what I'm saying. Well, anonymous uh, 15-year-old, if you're listening and Is you he do... 15? Yeah, if you want us to give you credit after all, let us know. Man, keep it up, dude. Um, here we are uh, in our new home. Yes. We are in your master bedroom. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> the bedroom is the master because I am. We are the switching uh, rooms at the halfway point of the month. Yeah, not and quite. Then, <laughs> not quite the halfway point. At which point, you, the master, is speaking. I relinquish the bedroom. <laughs> I do not relinquish. And- the master. <laughs> I will always be the master. You will, once you exit the master. No. Which I think when this episode comes out, which will be on April 20th, I will yes. officially, if you're listening to this right now, you're hearing the voice of one, no. the master. You will be in the master. You will you're not currently be hearing the not master. the master. Because you're a talking. second. Talk for a second. No I way. want people to hear what the, the master doesn't I don't sound know. like. I, you don't tell me what to do. <laughs> for now, you happen to be the master. I am the master. <laughs> and that's and I will always be the master. <laughs> what if what if I'm living in the master? I think that you will be you will be a little bitch and I will be the master. You are a wolf. You'll be in the little bitch room. You'll, We're gonna you're... switch rooms. Your room's gonna have I don't even want to call that an ensuite. <laughs> yeah, that does, that your, is an on sour. You would do that not. room as an on sour, not an on suite. It is a half we've got, sink, we've got half a, toilet. A beautiful four bedroom, four bathroom <laughs> home in Santa Monica. Sure, I have the master. You have got. You stole, got you a, usurped the master. I've got a private balcony. I've got two walk-in <laughs> closets, and I've got a jacuzzi. And tub. I'll have them. And 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 if by the time you're and listening I do to deserve this episode, that because I am the master. <laughs> but you, you know, Marty's room. He's got he's got a balcony as well. Yeah, he's got an ensuite. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he, has he doesn't a have nice a walk-in ensuite. closet, but he he's has got a, a dual he's got a, sink, ensuite, stand-up shower, and then uh, my sister yeah. Sarah in the in the third bedroom <laughs> the hu- does not have an ensuite. <laughs> she borderline has an ensuite. She does not. She has she an has adjacent a communal, nice bath. A communal bathroom doesn't actually apply here because it's her it's her bathroom. Nobody else uses that bathroom. But you are allowed to use it because it is a communal <laughs> bathroom. It does not have a door. It's not a private bathroom. That is for certain it is not a private bathroom. Uh Uh-huh. Continue. If I take a shower, I walk out right into my bedroom. She takes a shower, she walks out into a hallway. Which she can close off. She can close off the hallway, but you still have access to it. Uh, You, your bedroom has... Uh, sure, it's a full size bed. Oh, barely. Looks like it's built for a toddler. Absolutely, it is a race car bed. But you've got an ensuite. <laughs> I don't have an ensuite. You do have an ensuite. That on, that Let is the a record half show suite. that you have an ensuite. That- <laughs> you do have an ensuite, and you have, and you've got a dual closet. You have a very nice closet. You also have a private balcony with its own private entrance. So I would, I would argue that you have the third. Worst room, not the worst room. I, of course, have the master. I, of course, am the master. I hate for people to listen to this on April 20th and assume that you have the master. That's simply not the case. I walked into this house. At the time of recording. You know what, dude? You walked into the house before I got here. You you laid claim to the master. Because I am the master. (laughs) You you usurped the master. I didn't usurp the master. There was nothing here. And soon you will... You serve the master. Yeah, I don't yeah, think so. You, and I am the master. You know what, dude? I, w- I lived in the cabin for six months, and I was the master then, too. <laughs> so you don't need the master. I don't need the master to be the master, but it does That's feel good. right when I occupy the master. <laughs> hey, you're listening to If I Were You, the only advice podcast on the internet, hosted by us. I am the master. And I'm the master. <laughs> it can't be too bad. Right in. Next, next Tweet place. at us. Write in on Reddit. <laughs> Let us know who is the master. Next uh, <laughs> next place we get, we just share a bedroom, and there's two open bedrooms. We're actually both the master. <laughs> yeah, uh, we just brought two girls home, and they're like not going to have a foursome with us. <laughs> well, I don't know what to tell you. I can't unoccupy said master as the master. As soon as I don't sleep here, he'll take over. I just know it. <laughs> And then we finger blast her Whoa. as the master. Nice. <laughs> Thank Correct. you. Uh, so how does this work? This is an advice podcast. People will write us to ifireshow at gmail.com and they need our guidance. And here we are providing it. 
Um, should we jump right into it? Is there anything else that we should cl- we should talk about right off the bat? Is there anything like we were supposed to talk about the <laughs> the, the master for... other than the master? Uh, I don't. I, oh well, should we talk? We can talk. We can save it and talk about the newsletter mm-hmm. later on in the yeah, show. Yeah, we do have a newsletter. Let's talk about the Sydney, Perth, Melbourne, Brisbane, Adelaide, Adelaide shows, shows sure. later on in the show. We also have an LA show, which may or may not be announced by the time this comes out. If you're in Los Angeles, we're doing another show at the Hollywood Improv on May eighth. Um, but for now, let's get to the questions. Perfect. Perth, ift. Nice. Um, we need. Ideally, the name of uh, a master, <laughs> uh, Jacob Hurwitz. Okay. <laughs> so let's do um, let's do street names in Los Angeles to promote our live show at the oh, Hollywood Improv May eighth. That's really good. Okay, so the first uh, name is going to be Hollywood. Hollywood. A guy named Hollywood writes, "I've gotten myself into a sticky situation." Please give me some advice. A few weeks ago, I met this fine 22-year-old lady, I'm 19, at a party. And long story short, we met the day after at her place and had quite the fun, even though she was still a virgin, as she told me the night before during a drinking game. As I turned around to get a good glimpse of her behind at some doggy-style action, I didn't pay enough attention and pop goes the weasel into whole numero dos. I noticed right away by the even greater tightness and the smell, but I didn't want to admit my mistake, so I just kept going. It was quite nice, actually. The problem is, I now have lost all respect for her. She didn't say anything and just let me do this to her. Bear in mind, it was her first time. She's now on a two-week vacation, and afterwards, I don't know what to do. I just don't think I can take her seriously anymore. Tell me what to do. Love, Hollywood. Excuse you. Hollywood. Excuse you. I just don't think I can take her seriously anymore. <laughs> You're the one that slipped into the wrong hole. You <laughs> ass for no- and you weren't you said cuz you weren't paying attention. Literally you ass. So uh has that ever happened to you? I've definitely slipped into the wrong hole, but I think you must have a microscopically small <laughs> penis for her not to to scream. Like when that happens, everyone's horrified. You like pop into the wrong hole. Like it hurts. They scream. You scream because they scream. You bend your dick against the. Mom, a sp- turn it off. A sphincter cream. <laughs> turn off the podcast, Mama. Everybody's everybody gets hurt. It's not it like the, even the guy. Uh, well, yeah, because your penis is going up against. I really do hope you turn off the podcast. Though, I can't be more clear about that. <laughs> I, I'm going to talk in detail about something that I've never done. <laughs> Starting now. Okay, so I definitely don't fuck girls in that ass. <laughs> nice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, so yeah, like yeah, it's painful. <laughs> you, can, it, I think it depends because a couple times you come out and you just like you go again. It's not necessarily like just that hole, but like just going against something that your dick's not easily going to fit into, you jam it. It's, like it's a tight it. squeeze. It's yeah, a balloon so you don't knot. Like, it's not like you are going in and out and then, oops, wrong hole, like in and out easily. No, it's, There's also no lubrication, right? Well, your Like dick, vagina lubricates itself, but does the anus? No, but it's like... It's a drier... If it's in the middle of sex, then maybe it's like sweating. Your dick is also... Truffle uh, butter. <laughs> your dick is lubricated because you've been having sex. Right. Uh, so it's not, like, it's not least. like it's it's not like it's a barren desert when you slip in. But yeah, it is like if you're gonna have anal sex, you should be using like lube. There's and more you friction. Be like massaging the anus to make it loose. <laughs> like no one's ready for it. It's a process. <laughs> so the fact that he thinks I, if maybe he didn't really slip into her butt and he just thought he did. Mm, that's happened to me. Or you <laughs> thought you slipped into somebody's butt? Yeah, I'm like, whoa! I hope this isn't her bee uh bee hole and then i'll feel the bee hole i'm like oh that's okay so i'm not in there when, how and why did that happen well i don't know what an actual butthole feels like who did that happen with i obviously we'll can't say but i'm just saying like when i'm when it's happening and i'm behind and it's dark then you don't i can't tell exactly what hole i'm hitting you can always know <laughs> that it's the vagina because if it was the girl's ass it would it would, it would, it would be like hitting be against happening. a wall yeah there like 
I also have nothing to compare it against because I've never actually done the 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 anal one. It feels a million times better. I mean tighter. <laughs> tighter is better. Uh, that's where the phrase tight comes from. Like, oh, that's real tight. Yeah, and I mean, like, I guess everybody's got different buttholes. That's beautiful. In my experience. That's your children's book. <laughs> Everyone's got different Everyone poops. Everyone's got different <laughs> buttholes. Mine is the porn version. In my experience, going into someone's butt is not something that anyone takes lightly. You can't just slip your dick in and go to town and it's fine. Right. You need to have a lot of lube have a um you need to like go very easy like just a little bit then just the tip then just halfway and don't go back and forth too much it's just it's like uh i mean it's it's a it's a victory when you get your dick all the way in (laughs) oh god there's not like (laughs) i full disclosure i have a huge dick oh i see (laughs) 12 inches fully soft uh so, like, everybody's dick is different, everybody's butthole is different. So maybe if she has a very wide butthole and he has a really small penis, maybe it slipped in. But I, like, very much doubt it. Yeah, so, and then also, this quite is, this doesn't, doesn't even answer his question. We're just talking about oh, anal yeah. sex Well, you're general. being an asshole. To answer your question, what are you talking, like, no. Pun intended? I keep on t- saying, yeah, I guess. I guess ex- inadvertently intended. So not intended. Not intended. And it was unintentional. Uh, just like your anal sex. Uh, yeah, there is no, you shouldn't lose all respect for her because she didn't say anything. Like, because you also didn't say anything. You also did it. Yeah. So you. <laughs> Whatever you think about her, you're worse. You should feel about yourself. And also, though, don't lose any, it's fine. You. It sounds like you liked anal sex. He was like, it's, it felt pretty good, so I didn't say anything. Right. Like, you enjoyed the tightness of it, you said. So why on earth would you say that you don't like her because she let you have sex with her in a way that you really liked? Right. Also, she said she was a virgin, but then she did this, this butt sex. There's a lot of questions about this whole I thing. I really doubt if somebody's a virgin that, like, maybe her vagina was really tight and you oh. thought, it, and like... So maybe he it's didn't part, actually. Like there's smells during sex. It does. It's like if her ass is in the air, then maybe there's a smell coming from there. It's not because you stuck your dick in her ass. It's maybe just because you're looking right at it. <laughs> uh, so in conclusion, in conclusion, you got this one wrong, and also you are wrong because you are being a hypocritical. Piece of shit. <laughs> oh, nice. Not butthole. No. Uh, all right. I'm not trying to demonize the butthole. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> so that's it. Give her a second chance. Not that she even ruined anything or did anything. I don't right. even want to say like, don't do, like. I don't even want to respect this guy's question with an answer. I don't know if I can take her seriously. <laughs> I don't think she. I don't think you should be serious. Yeah, you're you not serious. Be, you're not a serious. <laughs> you're not a serious. You're period. not serious for any of this, man. <laughs> All right, let's get another guy's name for another male question. Melrose. Nice. Thank you. Writes. Hey guys, I thought I'd ask for your thoughts on something that I've been bothered with for a while. The problem is, I know that this is shallow, the amount of Instagram followers that I have. I'm in high school. I'm not unpopular. I'm pretty sure I'm funny, though I could be completely wrong. And I don't think I'm bad looking. So why do I only have 90 followers? Again, I know this is really shallow, but people at my school do judge you based on things of this nature, and I'm already pretty insecure as it is. I don't post stupid pictures, but just in case I do and I'm oblivious to this, you should totally check my page out at blank. I don't write stupid things in my bio, and yet I have less followers than anyone I know. Can I do anything to change this? Am I just being a goddamn pussy for worrying about such small things? I'd really appreciate your help. Thanks. Love, Melrose. Melrose, I think it's fine. I don't know, 90. (laughs) I mean, sure, 90 is the amount of likes you get in 12 Thank seconds. You. Ooh, I mean, come on, Melrose. Uh, but he does, 
he does make a point when he thinks maybe he's not worrying. He, sh- he should be worrying about more significant things. Don't you think? I don't know what's more significant than only having double digit Instagram followers. Unfortunately, I don't like. I guess I can't really put myself in it. This is. I really can't put myself in his shoes because you're a famous. Because yeah, because I've got <laughs> fame. <laughs> I do. I am the master. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm yeah. famous for that. Uh, you're not famous for being a master. I think I'm famous for being the master. I think you're famous for comedy, internet comedy. No, you do that shit. <laughs> That's right. Exactly right. 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 So. So. I'm the master. <laughs> uh, here's one thing we can do, though we should debate it, because I don't know if this is kosh. He gave us his Instagram name. Right. So we could, in theory, give it out right now. Tens of thousands of people could follow Does him. he have a private account? Uh, let me look. I guess he'd just get all the requests. Yeah, I mean, he would just approve it either Every, way. But then, like, this would be... He does not have a private account. This makes him not anonymous. Now every all of his friends will know that he <laughs> wrote this lame-ass question. Right. But it's, it's fine, because he probably complains about it. He also says that he complains. Do you think he says I'm at, I'm already pretty insecure? Yeah, no, we know you emailed in an advice show about how you quote unquote only have ninety followers on Instagram. Um, hmm. So now I'm on the fence as to whether we should. What if we? Mm, no, I was gonna say I don't know what this would do other than it would be really funny, kind of trolling him in a way. If we gave out his name, then under the pretenses that everyone follow him and then a day later unfollow him. Oh, God. That's... That way he'll get thousands of followers and then he'll go all the way back down to 90. Now I'm more into it because it's a really funny game. <laughs> so he'll be like on cloud nine and then how about not unfollow him right away. The next post he does. Oh, God. Everyone unfollows now, him. This is now like the old... This is the... I can't get behind it. This is the meanest <laughs> thing we've ever done. So he says... I genuinely, I, I'm, I'm insecure and I'm sad because I don't have a lot of Instagram followers. Uh-huh. How, like, what should I do? Yeah. And your solution is, is to... like, first of all, he also wrote that thinking he'd be anonymous. Uh-huh. Or your did solution, he say it thinking that we'd pimp it out? Your solution is to announce him who mm-hmm. he is. To uh-huh. the world, yeah. And not only not help him, uh-huh. but, but bully him. <laughs> you want to th- be a cyber bully of yourself. I want to glocal him. I think we said global did this at one point even. To getting everyone to follow someone on Instagram and That's then unfollow true. them at the rest of the first photo. All right. So maybe we shouldn't give out his name. Well, now I feel bad because you're upset. No. You want to do it. Uh, I, d- I do feel like I feel like I have to stand up for this kid. I My vote is <laughs> no. I don't think we should do that. Why don't we let the, the, the gods allow it? Fates. What do you mean? A rock, paper, scissors match. Well, that would be pretty good, but you always know what I'm going to do. <laughs> so is there something more random? What if you think of a number 1 through 20? I'll have five guesses. And if I get it right, then it's like, at the very least, you have a 75% chance of winning. I feel like I'm way winning. too predictable. Like, just I won't think of the number, but what number would you guess first? 7 or 11. It would have been 8. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> All right. But it's got to be number... Um, let's do a different... A different number thing. Oh, a different well, set like of numbers? 20 through 40. Okay. Well, 21 through 40. Sure. I'm not giving you 21 numbers, dude. All right. Ready? 21 through 40. I'll get five guesses. So there's a 25% chance that we can give this guy's Instagram account. Hold on one second. Okay. This is riveting. Yeah, nobody else knows what I'm doing. It's like really, I just Google image search the number that I want to have because I, just, I want it to be big. You know? Yeah, you've already given it all away. <laughs> Should I guess one at a time or just five numbers and then you flip it around? I think one at a time. The the drama? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's, I'm accidentally <laughs> mouthing it. Uh, my first guess is so obvious. I can't imagine you didn't choose this number. 40. No. Not 40? Not 40. No. Right. <laughs> Magic Johnson, 32, my age. Wow. 32! <laughs> Got it right off the bat. Yes! Yes! That's crazy, man. Excelsior! <laughs> that is why I chose it, I bet. It's my fucking age. 
<laughs> this, is, this also proves that other... Didn't we talk about this once that I think I'm a little bit psychic? Two guesses. I know. That's impressive, man. <laughs> He seemed bummed. I feel bad for this fucking kid. <laughs> How about we'll give it out, but don't unfollow him. That makes me feel a little bit better. So just follow him. Yeah. Yeah? I mean, I I don't think that, that I'm your partner on this. Okay. So let's help this guy. I don't Will this help him out by giving him... It's like we're, t- we're giving him the wrong lesson. He's like, oh, I'm insecure about the amount of followers that I have. And then we're like, all right. Here's a lot of followers. It's Instead of being like, don't worry about it. There are more important things. In I'm life. like trying to get you to not say this, but I bet there's so many people listening. They're like, say my name too. No, I yeah. want random Instagram followers. So should we, maybe we shouldn't f- open up this floodgate. Well, let, let's just at least announce that this is the only time we will ever do this. Yeah. Okay. Only time we'll ever do this. And also to this kid, it doesn't matter what your follower number is. Uh, you can grow your account organically by taking good photos or doing whatever. Right. Or it just doesn't matter. These are just people that... 90 people is a good amount of if people. If you like and comment other people's photos, they will like click onto your profile and perhaps follow you. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's really what it is. All right. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to, to write in to our podcast and uh, have us say, everyone follow at Elias underscore Weiss. At... E-L-I-A-S underscore W-E-I-S-S at Elias underscore Weiss. He has 90 followers right now. He doesn't know we're doing this. Wow. So it'll be a fun little social experiment to see what we can get him up to. So you follow him. Buy buy tickets to our shows. (laughs) As long as your computer's out. Buy a ticket to our show at the Hollywood Improv. Buy some tickets to our show in Perth. Whether you can make it or not. (laughs) We just need to move units. I don't care if we're performing to an empty fucking room as long as the tickets are sold. Follow Elias and then uh, get some Nature Box snacks. (laughs) Those are the big three. Uh, All right. Follow Elias. Elias, don't worry about it. Things will get better. Uh, Let's take a break. We'll come back with more questions right after this. We like these guys. This episode is brought to you by one of our faves, dollarshaveclub.com. Smart, practical, simple. People are paying lots of money for razors, which presents a market opportunity. Suddenly, a hero emerges from the darkness, the mist. Who is it? From the rubble? No, from the stubble. (laughs) Nice. Nice. It is dollarshaveclub.com that says, why don't we just send people handles for free, and then we'll give them replacement blades that feel great, and they don't have any of the shit you don't necessarily need that people are paying for. So suddenly you're paying just a couple bucks for replacement blades that arrive in the mail like clockwork. You're shaving for free, borderline. Uh, I'm serious. Stop squeezing weeks of shaves out of a dull razor and start treating yourself to a fresh blade. It's actually dangerous to do that. You think so? You could cut yourself. Don't cut yourself. Get dollarshaveclub.com. And if you go to dollarshaveclub.com slash if I were you... You can shave time. You can shave money. But that's dollarshaveclub.com slash if I were you. Get that little bit of your schedule open. You no longer have to buy blades. You're going to save time. You're going to save money. If you go to dollarshaveclub.com slash if I were you, thanks for continuing to support them and thus them continuing to support us. Uh, much appreciated. Great way to support our show. And make yourself a nice, uh, what is it called? A smooth shave. You make yourself a nice face. Yeah. How would you like a nice face? I really am. How would you like it a nice face? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Let's get back to our regularly scheduled program. Hey, we're Brack. (laughs) (laughs) Just a fun little way to spice things up. Uh, We are going to Australia. Yes. We are going in June. Our uh, flights are booked. Six months. We just booked an uh, Airbnb in Melbourne. There we go. Oh, so way to happening. pronounce it correctly. Huh? Uh, way to pronounce that correctly. What do you mean? Melbourne. I always said it like that. <laughs> I am the master after all. <laughs> uh, we're six weeks away, I should say, not six months. Six weeks away. Oh, my God. June 9th at, in Adelaide, June 10th in Melbourne. Show is almost sold out. Is it really? Yeah. June 11th. That was not all ages yet, right? No, it's not. Only Sydney has made it all ages, uh, June 11th in Sydney. We're, we're trying to make them all ages, but they might not be. Uh, th- some places are less flexible than others. Uh, June 12th in Brisbane, June 14th in Perth. 
which I just saw is on the whole other side of the country. Oh yeah, we're basically doing like Miami, North Carolina. That's also going to be our DC, show. New York, and LA. Right, right. It's just it's all the way there. Uh, that'll be the most intimate show because we've sold uh, fourteen tickets. Yeah. To it. Oh, much less. A <laughs> <laughs> hundred less than that. Uh, and then if you happen to not live in Australia and just live in Los Angeles. We are doing a show at the Hollywood Improv on May 8th. All Russell, the information will be on our show, our website, if I were you, show.com. If you live in Los Angeles, we are flying out of LAX to uh, Sydney. Yeah. <laughs> to Melbourne. Melbourne. So is that crazy to suggest that what? They come to the, to the Melbourne show. <laughs> Yo, they, they should go on our flight? Yeah. That's what? What are you talking about? It's a about? quick 22 hours. <laughs> it's, it's actually 13 hours, but with the time change, we're losing a day. June 3rd oh, won't exist for us. That's fun. We'll take off the 2nd, land on the 4th. And then it's uh, in that 13 hours, at, 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 over the, the course of that time, the 3rd will have just come and gone. That's crazy. We should do something. We should have like an anniversary on the 3rd that we don't experience or my birthday. Nice. I should move my birthday to the 3rd for can't some do weird reason. Well, I can figure some shit out. You can't figure that out, though. Well, then, <laughs> you can figure other shit out, sure. Then on the way back, we land at, uh, we take off at like noon and land at 8 a.m. that same day. We're like going back in time. That's crazy. Because they're 17 hours ahead, but only th- a 13 hour flight. We should order a hit on somebody. Oh. Like, oh, hey. You kill Marty yeah. on June 3rd. <laughs> kill him. But then June 3rd never even happens, so Marty's fine. <laughs> what? Why, why don't we just not order the hit? Because I want to give a hitman money. <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant. It has to work. Thanks for yes-anding me. Um, we also have a newsletter. The, our, the Amir and Jake's newsletter. Uh, first one's going to come out tomorrow if you're listening on Monday, May, uh, April 20th. The first one is out on April 21st, Tuesday. And if you sign up before that Tuesday, uh, you'll be entered for a chance to win my old glasses, the ones that oh. I wore for the last like 300 episodes. It'd be amazing. I, end, I gave my email address. That's right. What if I win? Well, what if I, I'm randomly selected? I was thinking about how to do, how to randomly select. Because you know you can't come up with a random number like yes I can as we just showed forty eight I that's <laughs> so random actually nine hundred ninety eight point three right so mm-hmm. all that stuff is coming from uh old nope. like I can actually try to figure out shit it's like not kind of like how I guessed thirty two right. I only guessed thirty two is because I I thought that was like a, a the first number that you would think of did you really yeah because it's like a nice strong number it's my age and it's uh. I don't know. It felt right at the time. But if you used a random number generator, there are websites and books donate, donate, uh, dedicated to being a random number generator, uh, then your number is completely uninhibited by any of your past experiences and memories. Interesting. So what I'll do is I'll download the list as an Excel spreadsheet. Let's say 5,000 people have signed up. Right. And I'll you... download it, and then I'll go to a random number generator, and it'll just come up with one, like 3856 or whatever. What's wrong with me coming up with a random number? Like Even I just it's not said, random? I just explained. But it's it's like still, it's it's random that it would, like it would choose a random person. Right? Would it? Yes. Well, what are the odds of you choosing one? 100%. I'll choose one. <laughs> What are the I know I did it. What are the chances of you choosing a thousand or two thousand? No, you'll try to choose something weird and obscure, and then you're sort of waiting it, weighing it to people who joined in later or earlier. I need a complete random generator. I need one that'll give me one just as likely as eleven hundred, just as likely as twenty one fifty. You piece of shit. You are actually trying to sabotage this for me. Yeah, yeah. I think you I might. really think you are. That a is saboteur. no way to talk to the master. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pipe down, pipsqueak. <laughs> Point Dexter. You are a master. <laughs> and I appreciate uh, the fact that by the time you're listening to this, I will be the master. <laughs> so this whole thing That's what you removed. appreciate? Yeah, I really appreciate I pre- it. You are the master, and I, I appreciate, appreciate that the- I am the master. <laughs> Two masters for the price of fun. Uh What's the benefit of subscribing to our newsletter, Amir? That's a good question. Uh, One, 
exclusive content that you won't be able to get otherwise. Maybe we're going to have a section that's just like, oh, here's a video we uploaded privately to Vimeo and you can watch it if you're on the, in the oh, newsletter. Oh, that's a fun idea. Yeah. Uh, maybe I thought of another idea for a section it will be called random picture on my phone for that week. That's fun. So I'll look through pictures on my phone and I'll upload a random one and you'll get it in your inbox. That that's could be cool. a section yeah. of the newsletter. I like that. Uh, another thing we could do is link to old videos and like provide insight, new insight to old videos. Like right. we can show, oh, do you remember this random old Jake Namir prom? Did you know that uh, we shot that the same day as this? Like in Ransom, I have the eye makeup from Mime. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's a fun little anecdote that story because I wasn't able to remove that makeup well enough. And then there's also, isn't we did um, nose job and then we shot another video after that and your nose is like healing a little right, bit. Right, but that was on purpose. Right. right yeah, right. Ransom one was just an on accident. That's fun. Uh, what's another thing we could do for the newsletter? Uh, insight to shows that we might have not announced yet so you can be the first to find out stuff like that. Mm. I don't know. We don't know what the newsletter is going to be, but it's just going to be an easy way to keep in touch with us. Uh, let's say we have exciting news to announce and we're going to wait until Tuesday to announce it. Or Oh, is our, it's coming out every Tuesday? Yeah. Cool. So you guys get this instead of a video. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's a way to keep in touch with us instead of just using our videos. Uh, and you can sign up to our newsletter if you go to jakeandamir.com. There's a link. Or if I were you show.com or on our Facebook page. We're making it very prominent. You'll be able to find it if you really search it. It's called Amir and Jake's Newsletter. We really should uh, redesign Jake and Amir.com. I know. I know you want to do that. Do you know that we should do it? The master hasn't made his mind up yet. <laughs> uh, no, I agree that we should. I just, that's the one thing we don't know how to do. I don't, I can't design anything right. at and all. And our web designer friend is already busy designing another website. Yeah. <laughs> we need more f talented friends. Well, who's the guy that made fuck me finally? <laughs> <laughs> that was good enough. You're hired. <laughs> Refired. Rehired. Uh, all right. Let's answer another quest. Shell. Uh, um, let's go for lady. Franklin. Hmm? Franklin. <laughs> Franklin Ave. So the guy's name was Melrose, but the girl's name is Franklin. That is correct. Gotcha. Franklin writes, <clears throat> At 63, I am perhaps your oldest regular listener. Oh, having I know this question. We should give her a real name. Oh, really? A, a pretty name, yeah. Okay. Um, but not her real name. No. Okay. Poinsettia. Poinsettia. At 63 years old, I am perhaps your oldest regular listener, having been introduced by both of my grandsons. I always enjoyed the show, but never imagined that I would have a problem that you might be interested in. But now, I think I do. My long-term partner and the father of my children passed away five years ago, and I have not had a relationship with a man since then. Recently, though, I have found myself being attracted to my mailman. An attraction which I think is reciprocated. He makes a point of telling me he is single almost every time we speak and often compliments me on the clothes I wear. I live in an apartment and he will ring to come up to my door even when there's no package. There is an issue, however. The man is 25 years my junior and when I spoke to my daughter about it, she said he was most probably trying to get money out of me, of which I have little. Should I be bold and try to initiate a possibly romantic relationship with my mailman or heed my daughter's advice and steer well clear? Thank you for what I'm sure will be very helpful and funny advice. Love, Poinsettia. Wow. It's such an eloquent email. Yeah, because... It's so well written. Because she's a 63-year-old lady. Yes. Because she's kind and smart and has lived long. Mm -hmm. She is wise. And then uh, the other dude was like... I lost respect for this girl I fucked yeah. in the ass by accident. <laughs> I accidentally borderline anal raped someone, <laughs> and now I'm worried that I don't respect her. What should I do? <laughs> ah! And this girl's like, mm, I'm, f I'm having feelings for my mailman. My daughter is warning me otherwise. What do you, what do you guys think? Uh, do you know why you think why her daughter uh, is warning her? Like, what's the game? Who is this global mailman that's going to be stealing money from her? Well, that's the thing. It could be global. Okay. 25 years is a significant amount. That means the dude is 38. Right. That's like six years older than me. Uh, 
flirting with a 63 year old but like 63 doesn't necessarily look like a grandma yeah because 60 is the new 40 i agree yeah i agree <laughs> i like my girl 63 w uh i think the the daughter just must be trying to protect the mom because like the daughter's thinking like this guy's 38 years old he's not trying to bone you but like daughter's got blinders on you she doesn't know how hot her mom is right you she never know how that you are hot your own mother is you're a, you're a cougar yeah of yourself well she, the dot the wow it's a grand a, is, can a grandma be a cougar <laughs> a cougar <laughs> that was definitely an accent when I said it like that <laughs> a gray cougar uh, I, I think so I think a cougar is just an older lady. Or does she have to be like 40? I thought she had to be like, I don't know. Well, since 60 is the new 40, then I guess very this, true. this is the new cougar. All right. So what would you suggest? What do you think the advice should be? I think you should always be bold. I do think you should be bold. If he's telling you he's single, oh, I wonder, what if he's telling her he's single because he wants to get set up with, the, with her daughter? Mm. I'm just kidding. That wouldn't be it. No. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I think you should be bold. Make a, make a move. Always. Oh, whoa. So she should ask him out? Yeah. Has he asked her out, do you think? he's No, she said he compliments her and mentions that he's single. So maybe there's a move in between asking him out. like flirt, Ask him what he's doing. Back. Say you're single too. Ask him if he had a fun weekend. Ask him like what kind of stuff he does. And maybe, and like, then you, then you say, oh, I like that stuff too. Then he invites you. Then I would just say like, Make Match yourself his available, and then take a step forward. You don't have to be so bold, but be a little bold, and then a little underlined, and just slightly, very slightly, Italian. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like bold and italic, Italian. Yeah, um. Italian. <laughs> uh, they're always like slanted. Right? <laughs> think, wasn't that one of your profiles once? <laughs> I think it does sound like. Uh, I am bold. <laughs> I am <laughs> underlined, and I am Italian. <laughs> like that's the same thing as italicized. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so, because I like that joke. It definitely was. <laughs> uh, can she maybe flirt and proceed with caution? Yeah. I think, because that way you're sort of heeding your daughter's advice a little bit. Right. You're saying, all right. But don't I'll, I'll proceed. Yeah. I mean, he's not stealing money from you yet. Unless she actually thinks that he's going to go into her house and legit steal cash. Yeah. Wait, I don't understand the steal. Like, I think I understand. Like, does she think that they'll go on like, dates? I, maybe he doesn't. Your daughter is maybe nervous that, like, I don't. If his intentions aren't pure. But I feel like maybe she said something that wouldn't hurt her mother's feelings. And she was like, he'll steal money from you. But maybe she's really thinking, like, I don't want him to rail you out, and she doesn't want this her her mom to do get you know we know how men are yeah this other dude fucked a girl in the butt without saying anything she doesn't she's trying to protect her mother from thirty eight year old dudes yeah because guys are all assholes and she and her mother is sweet right but I think if you are like you know what I'm not looking for anything serious I just want to get boned I just want to give a bone and this mailman like he's not trying to rob me he's maybe just trying to get bone too so flirt don't don't ask out but just say hey how are you doing delve the conversation into deeper more personal issues that way it'll open yourself up to potentially be asked out by this mailman yeah then when you're out on a date with him make sure that he's not actually stealing cash from you like if he's like hey where should we go oh, why don't we go to that restaurant that's your bank account number what is that one again <laughs> yeah and she's like oh that one is oh one four oh wait <gasps> that's when the red flags are going off granny <laughs> <laughs> she actually is a grandma yeah so you calling her granny is fine i know it's good it's and it is, it is fair. legal <laughs> it is legal it is coy it is fair and it is fine I love this lady. I want her to get. I want her to get nailed if that's what she wants. And at sixty three, she's. I basically think definitely the oldest listener of the show. Yeah. So thanks is, for tuning in. Really great. Thank and you. And thanks for being smart and modern and forward thinking enough to listen to podcasts at age sixty three. Way to go! Uh, my parents don't listen to podcasts. Actually, they listen to a, po a lot of podcasts. They just don't listen to yours. <laughs> yeah. My dad just gobbled up cereal and every other po comedy podcast. 
he's a huge you made it weird fan and he refuses to listen to our episode yeah your dad when the last time he saw me he was like keep it crispy oh my god that's amazing i love he that it. he likes pete my mom loves mark Marin. <laughs> uh all right that's it that's our time uh oh thanks to the following people who uh wrote us great reviews on our uh itunes page nice itunes has uh very has a very secret monopoly on podcasts so if you leave a helpful review and you subscribe to our show that's in- immensely helpful i think we like shot up to a top five comedy podcast and we were number one in the uk and in australia just wow. by like a hundred hundred of you uh, subscribing to our show and rating it and reviewing it. So we said we'd thank some people by name. Uh, here's some fun names that, of people that reviewed it. Carrot Slate. Oh, shit. Sort of like you. Carrot Slap, but not. Uh, Jake and Demir and Grant. Good name. Thank you for leaving a five-star review. The three of us. Uh, Koi Deve. I like these names. Yeah. <laughs> Dat Shy Guy on my favorite, Wokanut. It's like coconut with a W. Oh. Wokanut. Uh, so thank you uh, if you haven't left a review uh, now's your chance we'll thank you next time uh, thanks for listening everybody we'll be back I think on Thursday this week well alright um, with a new episode uh, if you have your own theme song submissions or your own questions send those to if I were you show at gmail.com we're also accepting thumbnail submissions every time we post this podcast to our Facebook page we need one so thanks for everybody that's been sending those in the opening theme song was written by an anonymous 15-year-old uh, who doesn't want credit, but should, because it was great. And this closing one, also great, was written by George. Thanks, Anonymous. Thanks, George. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, Wokenut. <laughs> Thanks, Wokenut. This is the master signing off. <laughs> this is the master. <laughs> I am the master, and I'm signing off. Yeah, I'm the master, and I'm actually not <laughs> signing off, so you better not press that button. Master signing off, bye. No. Our song... A serenade for Amir and Jay. Now then, how do you do if I were you? When you email these guys in I'll sort you out If I were you, show at gmail.com Tell them what is going on I'll try to help you out To help you out